Thank you all so much for tuning in to Connect today. I'm here with an enigma, Ronak Ahmed of Assurant. You are the Vice President of Global Digital Strategy. Yes, that is correct. That is such a great title. Thank you. What does that mean? Well, first of all, I'd like to say it's probably the most funnest job on earth. <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> and the reason is it changes a lot because right. strategy is very dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, so what does it mean? Well, what it means is I get the opportunity to set global digital strategy for our corporation, which operates in 30 plus countries, wow. um, 20 plus product lines, a lot of different complex nuanced businesses. Mm -hmm. So that's why I get to say that it is a very fun job that changes all the time. Um, so what does it mean? Well, I, I think we should start by defining what is strategy. And strategy in its most uh, basic form is a way to achieve an objective. Yes. Right? It's yes. as simple as that. And you know, I often get asked, well, what, what, you, what makes a good objective? And I like to think about a good objective in the business context as something that is uh, measurable. Uh -huh. with, you know, measurable by time, yep. measurable by money. Mm -hmm. uh, a great example is as a company, we want to increase revenues by 2x in the next three years. So you have a monetary measurement and a timescale measurement. Mm -hmm. A digital strategy is essentially a simple way of looking at a core strategy and finding ways to take an experience from an offline to an online mode. It's as uh, simple as that. Wow, you should write a textbook. <laughs> you made that very easy to understand. Thank you. Um, so how do you and or how does one go about crafting a compelling digital strategy because there's so much noise. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's a great question. And the way I think about it is you look at the core business strategy, whether it's digital or not, it doesn't really matter. And let's go back to our example of a company that wants to increase revenues by 2x in the next three years. Well, it starts by understanding what, what do we need to do to achieve that objective? What is the strategy today? Let's just say it's a company that sells widgets in stores, mm -hmm. right? Stores that it owns. Keep it really simple. Well. You know, how are those stores performing today? Uh, how are they performing against competition? How are they pricing their product? How are they merchandising their product? What about the locations? Do they have too many stores? Do they have too few stores? Do they want to go international? Are they already international? They want to go more international. How, what do you do? Right. Well, what I like to say is all of these attributes I just described are drivers of revenue or value drivers mm -hmm. in this example. So. In my case, my team and I would take those drivers of revenue and audit them mm -hmm. in terms of what's digital and what's not. Right. We would come up with a digital maturity gap analysis where we would take all of those levers and literally just think about, well, is this digital? Could it be more digital? And if it's not digital, what's the opportunity look like? Wow. So let's say, for example, we have a set of stores that is our value driver for creating revenue today, and those stores may have objectives to, uh, uh, or strategies to reach the objective of doubling revenue in three years, like in our example. And my team will come in and say, okay guys, you keep doing that, but we're gonna augment your core strategy with a digital strategy, uh, because we believe that after completing our gap analysis, you could use digital uh, expertise here, here, and here. Mm -hmm. It might be, for example, connecting your offline store with your e-commerce site. That might okay. be one strategy right. to digitize. Mm -hmm. Another strategy might be to uh, enable your customers to uh, connect with your in-store reps, maybe through messenger or apps or chatbots, chat yeah. right? We might go all fully virtual. But the idea is, how do we empower your core customers to engage with you digitally and making sure that that engagement is contributing to the objective, in our example, of creating revenue, doubling revenue in three years. So I think that's the key, tying it all together and having ways to measure your progress as you go. Yeah, the, the data is key. It is critical. <laughs> it's critical. <laughs> um, how do you stay on track? Great question. And it all comes down to you can't manage what you don't measure. 100%. Right? 100%. So, in our simple example of doubling revenue in three years for this retail shop selling widgets, whatever those widgets are, mm -hmm. let's say we complete the digital gap analysis and we decide that because of competitive pressure, pricing, opportunities, we want to create a stronger link between our e-commerce site and our in-store model. Mm -hmm. 
and we want to do that by maybe exposing APIs or SDKs to connect the inventory in the stores with the inventory online, so a customer gets an omni-channel experience, whether they shop online or go to your store. Right. Well, this is great, because now what you've done is you've created a, an ecosystem, a digital ecosystem for your customer, mm -hmm. opened up a whole host of options for those customers to engage with your brand, and you can measure, measure, measure. You can use things like Google Analytics. Yes. You can use things like AB Tasty and Lucky Orange. There's so many tools available to the digital strategists today to be able to test and learn different ideas and use data to conduct uh, very time-bound, targeted tests to see if your strategy is working and you tweak and learn, come up with more hypotheses, keep trying until you find that sweet spot. So the key to making sure you're on track is Number one, make sure that the core objective of the business, which is in our example, doubling revenue in three years, is always at the core of everything you're doing. You ask yourself, is what I'm doing today going to contribute to that objective digitally? And if the answer is yes, you're already 50% there. Oh, well that sounds like a win. <laughs> Let's hope so. I know. Uh, Ronak, this is great because um, not only did you keep uh, the, your answer is concise from, from what I've asked you. You also sent me ahead of time just a, a bunch of amazing bullets. And um, in addition to having this piece live online that you're watching right now, we are going to have a blog post up with all of Ronek's um, thoughts and, and key, you know, just key thought leadership pieces because um, this is a conversation that is a much longer one than you know, would live in a normal show. Sure. I mean, it's it's a position, right? It's it something is. you do every day, it is. Uh, every year, yes. and it's not something you can just cram in. In so. many time zones. In many time zones, <laughs> oh my gosh. So um, we will link to your compelling points here, um, as well as, you know, for people that want to connect with you after watching Connect. Sure. What do you think the best way is? Is that LinkedIn? Or? I think so. Okay. I think so. I'm uh, active on LinkedIn. Okay. Uh, a lot of content there as well. So please do uh, reach out uh -huh. and I'm happy to uh, connect and offer any advice I can or help. Or if anyone wants to talk about their digital strategy and they need some advice from an operator, yeah. uh, I am more than happy to give my two cents. That's really nice of you. Like that's amazing. And, and uh, I know given your background and expertise, um, it'd be very well received by those people needing it. So, yes. um, Ronak Ahmed, Vice President, Global Digital Strategy Assurance. Yes. Thank you for your time. Thank you for making such a large concept super digestible. Thank you. Um, and then, of course, we will have all of this uh, at the link below, as well as Ronak's LinkedIn profile, because I'm pretty sure he's going to be getting some LinkedIn requests after this. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Titania. I really appreciate the opportunity and uh, great forum. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure.